All right, that's enough for now. And before I fix the fence, I've got to chop up that tree that fell across the neighbours and my fence, that boundary fence as well. So I'll chop that up too, and then I can get to fence mending. It's hard work in like 35 degree heat, about 90% humidity. Not easy at all. But you know, it has to be done, doesn't it? I mean, if I'm going to let my chickens out to free range, I have to fix that fence, otherwise the dogs will get them. Dogs. And uh, my neighbour's got a horse, so I need to fix that fence up as well so he can let it roam around. <sighs> Things you have to do. Look how wet I am. Now I've got to go pick the boys up from school. Ran out of fuel. I've chopped up all those three trees or big branches that had fallen on the three parts of the fence. It's starting to rain now. I tell you what, I am just wet with sweat. It's about the third time I've got my shirt this wet. I've hung it up on the clothesline twice today to dry it out and then put it back on and come back here and kept chopping. And um, I'm not gonna be mending any fences today. The, the chickens can just stay in their pen I'll mend the free-ranging area first uh, tomorrow, then I'll mend the neighbours and my boundary fence. So I can hear the thunder starting to roll in now, and I've just had it for the day to be honest. Uh, I'm not doing anything more. I'll stack all this wood up, use it for firewood. I'll mulch some of it when I get the mulcher in, usually once a year, and uh, put it around the fruit trees or whatever in the garden for wood chip. But for now, I'm signing off. That's enough for me. Hopefully this storm that's coming isn't gonna drop more trees on me. Uh, last summer was pretty bad as well with fallen trees. So let's hope uh, this doesn't continue to happen to me this year because I'm fed up chopping wood, I can tell you. All right, well, it's the next day and I'm down here to clean up all the debris and mend fences. This is the corner of our dog proof fence that, that's the, the internal free ranging area for our chickens. So I will fix this up now that it's crushed in and I can just walk over it. Pick up all these sticks and see there's a hen running towards me. And I haven't let them out this morning. And the reason for that is she got out on her own. And uh, this is one of the new hens. And they're getting out. I think because they're young and fit and new ways of thinking because they're new to the flock. I think they're getting over the fence somewhere. Um, most of my chicken pen boundary fence is a, ball, a good three metres high. 
here around Chicken Park, as I call it. And they, they can't get over that. But some of the old fence that I put in initially isn't that high. It's more like a couple of metres high. And it's, uh, so at the back here, the fence is only my head height, so a couple of metres. Six foot. Um, it's got the dog proof skirter around the bottom and there, and logs around the side so foxes can't dig in and if they try to climb this fence they can't because it's too loose which is cool but I think what's happening is the hens are getting onto this old A-frame which used to be an old quail pen that I made an old above ground quail pen made out of a swing set and I think what they're doing is they're getting on top of that and they're jumping over the fence or they're just getting a run up and flying over this fence so I'm going to have to make this higher Well, this is what I hate about, you know, living on a small acreage with lots of trees is the constant pickup of debris and the sometimes chopping up of trees, fallen trees and fallen branches, especially in the middle of summer. It can really be long, hard, boring uh, work where I could be doing lots of other things like uploading videos or working on my website and doing some, some real uh, good work in the garden or something like that. But anyway, I've cleaned up that this fence here. Cleaned up the debris, put it in this huge pile. Fence now needs to be mended. And then I can let the chickens and ducks out for the day into their free ranging area. Then they'll be nice and safe. Knowing that dogs, other than this one, won't be in there to chew them up. I just got some old scrap wire. I'm going to do my best to fix this fence up without having to retension it or anything like that. I'm just going to bodge it up and I'll be, you know, do a good job so that nothing gets in or out. But uh, I'm not going to take the fence down and then right, try to retension it again. It's just that one segment. I'm just going to fix it up the best I can. All right, that's that fence mended. I know I'm no fencing guy, and I know my methods are a bit unorthodox, but it's gonna do the job. I put an extra pole, just an old star picket, in the middle to keep the uh, fence a little bit more upright because of the force of the tree crushing it down, all the wires a bit bent and stuffed, so. I didn't have to replace the whole fence or anything. I didn't have to buy more material, just use scraps. And that's gonna do the job. Oh, well, anyway, I'm gonna go let the chickens and ducks out now because they can safely roam around the free range area. Whippersnapper. 
lot of the fiber top on. Still whipper snipping after I've done this bit. I'll uh, then get the blade back out and blow it all back in before I start mowing. It looks like another storm coming over. Well, it is summer. I'm a mess. It's cooler with this cloud cover. But I've got to get this whipper snipping done, the edging done, and then hopefully get a quick mow over at least the main areas before this storm hits. Another big day. Garden looking good. Well, it's nearly six. I can hear some thunder in the distance. I tell you what, I'm poofed. Fix that fence up down there, got rid of a lot of debris. I still got some more to pick up. Did the whipper snipping and the weed whacking all around the place. Did the blow vacking along the pathways and everything like that. And uh, I think that's enough. I'm gonna go inside and make the boys some dinner. And uh, I, I don't think I'll be doing any more mowing. That, that'll do me. I'll do some more mowing tomorrow. Yeah, all in all, a nice, good, hard day's work. I get to go inside and have a nice, cool glass of water. I might sign this vlog off now. It's a bit disjointed um, because you know I just pick up my camera or my phone, just sort of ad hoc and try my best. Um, you know, just to capture those sort of moments that I'm, I'm around. It doesn't capture everything by any means, but just captures a few things through the day. Uh, and I can put it together over a few days or so, and you can see, you know, what I'm sort of doing on a daily basis around here. As a home dad and uh, a self-sufficiency type lifestyle liver. All right, thanks a lot for watching, bye for now. I'd run if I were you. Why? Well, because the lightning's coming. So hurry up and lock the chickens up and get back here.